hi students in the last class we solved the problems on the profit prior to incorporation and i hope all of you understand that chapter so now in this session we will going to solve the or we are going to see the chapter number 3 or unit number 3 which is the valuation of a goodwill okay so you know that what is by goodwill goodwill it is in the intangible assets okay so it is in the intangible assets okay so now see it's uh, related to the valuation of goodwill so in the modern days the success of any company depends on its goodwill okay so the goodwill of the company depends on its profit and if profits of a company is more its goodwill will be more okay so and if the profit of the company is less or no profit then also the goodwill will be the very less or it's a zero okay so it's the the amount of goodwill is entirely depends on the profitability of the company or the amount of goodwill has direct relation with the amount of profit and uh, there is need to value the goodwill in right manner okay so it means what that is proper methods of valuation of goodwill should be applied okay so <clears throat> valuation of goodwill methods are should be the applied okay so this is about the valuation of the goodwill about the or the goodwill it means what if the profit of the company is increased then the goodwill also the increase and the profit is depend on the goodwill if it is the more goodwill is, reputation is good goodwill is nothing but the reputation okay so the reputation is increased then automatically profit will be the increase okay so now in the next slide see the valuation of goodwill or what is the meaning of the goodwill okay so see here goodwill is an intangible assets linked to an established business built over time as a business gains favorable reputation for maintaining good customer suppliers relationship and effective branding as it is expected to make profit year after year okay so this is the meaning of the valuation of goodwill so it means what it is the it means in short it means short so goodwill means the present value of expected future earnings okay and keep in mind goodwill is nothing but the intangible assets okay and the goodwill means a reputation okay in shortcut way goodwill means nothing but the reputation in account in accounting terms the goodwill means the extra profit available to the business okay concerns due to various factor such as the nature of business or the specialized product or the location of business etc etc okay so this is about the meaning of the goodwill so next thing is what the features of the goodwill okay features of the goodwill so it is recognized so it is recognized by indian accounting standard 10 okay so the valuation of goodwill is recognized by the indian accounting standard 10 okay so next it is intangible fixed assets okay so there are two types of assets the current assets and the fixed assets so this goodwill is the fixed assets but it is the intangible okay so intangible means what we cannot see or we cannot touch okay so it is the intangible fixed assets okay so now see it is an inseparable assets which cannot be sold separately okay so if we if you want to sell the goodwill then we cannot sell that goodwill because along with the business we have to sell the goodwill okay so separately we cannot sell the goodwill okay so nice it helps the business to earn more than normal profit okay so with the help of this goodwill if it is the reputation is increased in the market or in the increase in the society then the customers will uh, come more and the profit will be the increase than the more compared to normal profits okay so next it is fluctuations but not depreciation okay so goodwill it is in the fluctuations but it is not depreciation we cannot depreciate we cannot reduce the price of the goodwill okay so but it is the fluctuate it will be the increase or it will be the decrease okay so it is the fluctuations okay next goodwill value depends on profit but not depends upon money invested and expenses made by on building the same okay so whatever while starting the business whatever we are going to invest the money on that it's the goodwill is not depend on that but after the starting the business whatever the profit is earning if, if it means the profit is increased then the goodwill also the increase it means what the goodwill is depend on the profit okay so in the next slide so see here 
need for valuation of goodwill okay what need for valuation of a goodwill okay so which are those needs of the valuation of the goodwill for sale trading business concerns or for the partnership for or for the joint stock company it's a very needed to for the valuation of a business okay so it means for the sole trading business concerns it means sole trading means what only one seller okay so uh, the need for valuation of a goodwill arises when sole trading business concern uh, wants to sell its business to other or convert into partnership firm at that time valuation of goodwill is a uh, required okay it means what while selling the business to the another person at that time the at that time the valuation of goodwill is a uh, required okay so next next partnership firm okay so partnership firm when it's rights required so for the change in profit of sharing ratios at the time of admission of a new partner in the existing firm or you can say the on the death or retirement of a partner or when the partnership firm is sold or converted into limited company at that time valuation of goodwill is a required okay so next for the joint stock company for the joint stock company when it's needed the valuation of goodwill at the time of when two or more companies amalgamate by the purchase method okay at that time as well as when the business of a company is being taken over by the government or when a person wants to purchase large block of the company's shares with a view to acquire control over the management of the company at that time the joint stock companies required the valuation of a stock okay so these are the needs of the needs of the valuation of the stock okay so in the next slide so see the factors affecting the value of goodwill okay so which are those factors affecting the good value factors affecting the value of goodwill it means what which are those factors or which are those components to for the affecting for the increasing or the decreasing for the goodwill okay so the location of a business premises okay so if uh, it means what the business premises also affect for the goodwill okay where it is uh, in which place the business is there okay so in which place the business is there okay so next nature of business so which is the manufacturing business or it is service business okay so it is also affecting on the nature of the business also next trade name or the reputation how it's the reputation in the market or in the rep in the society if it is the good repu reputations then it will the increase the goodwill or the increase the profit okay so next risk factor how much risk is there in that business okay for the customer purpose okay so if there is a no risk then the goodwill will be the increase okay so the customer will be the attract okay so next good relation with the suppliers and industries etc so if the business keep keep if the business keep the good uh, relation with the suppliers or the industries then the goodwill also will be the increase next skill of management so whatever the management board is there which means management team is there they should have the good skill for the to make the business okay if the good skill is there then the automatically good will be the increase it means what's the uh, they will increase they will earn the more profit by the uh, management okay so next proper planning in tax matter so the planning is required for the tax matter as well as the good and sound public image reliable and high quality product they have to provide the high quality product to the customers or the uh, society purpose okay favorable government rules and regulations whatever the rules and regulations framed by the government they have to follow okay so next favorable industries policies whatever the industries policies also they also they have to maintain okay so all these things are the affected for the goodwill okay so next thing is what types of goodwill so there are two types of the goodwill first one is a purchase goodwill okay so now see what in the purchase goodwill so purchase goodwill means what it arises only when the enterprises is acquired by another business enterprises and the purchase the price is more than the net asset acquired is nothing but the purchase goodwill okay so it means what in a other language goodwill means what so it is the amount of difference between the purchase consideration okay amount of difference between the purchase consideration and the value of the net purchase assets okay so it is nothing but the purchase goodwill okay so now how to calculate this purchase goodwill so goodwill is equal to purchase price minus net assets okay so now this purchase price they will give and net assets now how to calculate the net assets total assets minus outside liabilities okay so this is about the purchase goodwill so next 
non purchased goodwill non purchased goodwill means what this goodwill arises only when a business generate its own goodwill over a period of time okay so non purchased goodwill means what which is not purchased goodwill so it is a when it's a, it starts from the business whatever they having is nothing but the non purchased goodwill okay so these are the two types of the goodwill okay so just try to understand this session and i hope you will be the understand okay so if you have any query with this then you can ask me okay so thank you